What's going on everybody? Kenny here, also known as Silent85. I've only got a few minutes, but I wanted to have a brief chat, quote unquote, about uh, partnerships, things that I've learned and things I've been through. I'm almost 40. Um, I've been in a few long-term relationships. I've had partners where things didn't work out. I was married, went through a divorce. Um, I, I posted some blogs uh, after the separation. Uh, you know, made a couple of, had a couple of insights, so on and so forth. What I was or wasn't ready for, um, including having kids, sadly, uh, that was a very rough choice I had to make. Um, because of everything I've been through and I went through that I was going through at the time, I just, um, I wasn't, I wasn't stable enough to be a father. And even things I face today, I still don't believe I am. So uh, the, re the reason I mention that is because, um, you know, that's, that's what I had to face. That's, that's where I was at. Um, and that's, that's important if you're going to be a partner. You know, you've got to you've got to really realize these things about yourself as soon as you know, and as deep as you can, because stuff like that popping up in a relationship, a sudden change, can really alter things. You know, um, depending on the couple, depending on the partnership. So that's important. Uh, open communication. What's going on in your head? What's going on in your heart? Um, things that may or may not impact your life as a couple. Um, you as a as a person. 100% open communication is vital. 100% um, reciprocation is vital. Um, a minimum bar at least 90% because there are things that are going to be happening in life that will be a delayed communication or it's something you may not even realize and then it's just like, oh, I got to share this. I got to tell them, you know. Um, so that's important. For me, when I when I got divorced and I started looking for something more long term, I, you know, I started on Tinder. I was dating. I was living the bad floor life for a while and then of course my partner stuck with me we were best friends um for uh, a long time and um and then things grew you know we started realizing things about each other similar childhood went through some uh, similar struggles and um and uh you know it built from there it was it was amazing um but you know one thing that we talked about in the beginning and what we've learned from previous relationships is um Again, open communication, uh, reciprocation, reciprocation and communication in actions. You know, you, you got to know that your partner is going to be there when you need them. That's important. Um, it's very, it's so important because I have seen, I have had buddies and I've had people message me that have been in relationships where their partner hasn't been there and they're in this relationship and they don't know how to get out. They're scared to get out, not because of abuse or whatnot, but because of, you know, they just, they don't think they'll be able to find anybody else. And so you, you start to develop this codependency, right? Like you can't go outside or you can't move forward with your life or you can't, you know, make these big decisions or these small decisions even without um, your partner okaying it, you know? There's still gotta be some individualism in the relationship. You still gotta be able to be you, but also at the same time have your partner along, you know, because that's what it is. It's two individuals getting together and sharing their lives with each other, you know. Now, some people aren't built for this. There are people on this planet that they're just not built for long term, you know. They're more of the short term. Uh, and a lot of people argue, well, they may die alone. They don't see it that way. They, they're living their life the way they want, and however they end up is however they end up, you know. Now, it's not to say they won't be alone in old age. There's still going to be loneliness because we're all human. We're all going to feel it. Even in a committed relationship, you're going to have times where you feel lonely and alone you know because your partner may not be there or because you're going through something very deep and traumatic um it can happen in life so open communication reciprocation big time um and dedication you know that's a, that's a very important and if you feel yourself slipping if you feel yourself having to maybe go like i'm not saying like cheating or what but if you feel yourself like i'm not feeling like we're on the same level or like I'm, you know, I'm able to get any satisfaction from anything, not as much as I used to. Again, bottom line, 80%. It can't always be 100. But, you know, you got to communicate that. you got to be open. And a lot of people would argue, well, there's a few things you got to hold back in a relationship. Personally, I don't see that. Um, I think the more open you are with your, with your partner, the better y'all can both work on it. Because that's important, too. You both got to work on it. There's going to be things you got to work on by yourself, but your partner is there to support you. Um, and I have an amazing partner that does the same. We have stuff that we work through, um, but we look forward to a lot of stuff in our future. So, anyway, I hope this helps. I hope this helps. Um, 
I haven't done a video like this in a while. So thanks for watching. Remember, you're awesome. Never with the road to otherwise. I'll see you later. Peace.